Hi Pisces, welcome to your November 2021 general love reading. This is your Girl Mermaid Scales Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is a general love reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising Venus, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Pisces. This will not resonate with every Pisces that watches this message. And because this reading is general, not every single message in this reading may be for you. So please, only take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone else who needs to hear that message. If this reading is not for you at all, Pisces, I highly suggest checking out your other signs and different placements. Hi, cross watchers. You're very welcome here if you're interested in the Pisces. Who wouldn't be? I'd like to remind Pisces and cross watchers that energy is fluid, and this simply means you may feel like I'm describing a certain situation in the reading where you feel the roles are flipped or reversed, and that's completely okay. You are more than welcome to use your own discretion to flip those roles if that resonates with your specific situation the best. Okay, Pisces, let's get this reading started. I will be using my sound bowl to clear the energies. So if you are listening to this using headphones, I do suggest turning it down a little bit. I don't want your ears to hurt. So let's get this started. Very nice. All right, so for this reading, Pisces, I'm tuning into an energy that's in around your energetic field of someone that has romantic feelings or intentions towards you at this time. Whether you are single or taken, whether you're together or apart, let's see who's coming through for you in this reading and why they're coming through. I'm gonna ask how do they feel about you right now? What do they think about you? What do they like about you? What do they not like about you? What do they like about the connection that they have with you currently? And what do they not like about it? And what are their highest hopes and deepest fears in regards to this connection with you, Pisces? Interesting. Pisces, you have someone on timeout or someone's put you on timeout. You haven't talked to this person. They've been trying to hold back, but the more they hold back, the more it's they're fighting the urge to reach out to you. I feel that very strongly here, and I'll tell you why in just a second. Oh. Hmm. Anyway, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Wands, Leo energy. Some of you could be dealing with the Leo. You could have Leo in your chart. It does not have to be the case in order for this to resonate with you. So there's jealousy here, competition here with the Five of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Now, I don't feel that you guys were ever fully committed to one another, if so, great. But this feels more that you guys were talking and something happened that made someone feel a bit angered by someone giving more attention outside of the connection to other people like I don't know talking to other people flirting with other people um and I honestly want to say that if that is your message you resonate with that I do feel someone tried to get a reaction out of it unfortunately some people kind of want to see how much someone else cares and in a you know toxic way um they try to get a rise out of people emotionally and if this that's not so much the case, it could just be a disagreement, an argument, but I do feel it involves other people or for the fact that someone still isn't fully dedicating to the other and is still keeping their options open, which someone is not allowing, um, is actually quite frustrated by it. I'm seeing the letter A, first, middle, last, initial, maybe two A's even in someone's name. But yeah, I... I I just heard this means war. So I gotta say, Pisces, this could be someone's ex that is watching YouTube um, and they have an evil eye being sent your way. Or again, like this could just mean the fact that you found them talking to other people, flirting with other people, heard about them going out to different places with different people, whatever the case is. Others of you, this is just an argument, a fight. Um, disruption. So because of whatever happened in the recent past that involves five of wands, competitive, argumentative energy, jealous energy too, um, it caused you guys to stop talking to each other. But I do feel Pisces. Others of you, if you did decide to leave this person because you know what, it wasn't working out, I'm hearing red flags someone may have kind of sensed or felt. So, you know, you just kind of left this person and on, you know, you did your own thing. 
let's just say, um, they're still watching you angrily, jealously. Um, your social media, definitely. Um, specifically like Snapchat stories, they like open up your home post. I don't think you send it to them privately, but um, yeah, a lot of different messages. Something happened <laughs> where you guys aren't talking right now. Maybe you even just need time apart is what I'm hearing or someone said that in the conversation. But let's go ahead and see what's going on here. So how they feel about you is the Four of Swords. Libra energy. Yeah, there's silence right now between the two of you. Um, but again, I feel it's building up them wanting to reach out. And especially if they were in the wrong, I think it's hard for them to reach out because they know that they would have to speak some real truths to you because you wouldn't take anything less. Um, you either want to hear an apology, an explanation, or nothing at all. And that's the only way, you know, it's like a... <laughs> This is so nerdy, but I'm such a fantasy freak, such as like Lord of the Rings, Game of Thrones, um, all that good stuff. So there's a scene in Lord of the Rings with Gandalf, thou shall not pass. That's kind of what I was hearing. Like you definitely have boundaries with this person. You're cool off this person until they, you feel that it's right for them to be back into your space again. But they, let me tell you, they do miss you. They do have some still connection with you as for them coming out in this reading to begin with, but I think it doesn't, right now, whoever's in the wrong, it's building up for them to actually speak on it. Okay, you know what? I'm done being stubborn. Let's talk this out. Um, but they get the sense too, Pisces, that you don't want to hear from them. So that's making it hard for them to come forward as well. But they still have very sensual feelings for you, let's just say. Um, they still wish that you guys were still in connection because of the... It feels very sexual, I gotta be honest here. Um, the feelings they have for you, the urges, I'll just say, they have for you feel very sexually oriented as well. But what they think about you is the Page of Pentacles. So this is Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. So they know that if they were to come back, they have to come back with something valuable, something that's worthwhile, something worthy to you. Um, and they know that they can't come on any BS with you. You sense it, you feel it, you know this person too well. They can't run anything past you anymore. So they're thinking of how they can come back into your life, how they can make amends with you, is what it, this really, really feels like. Um, I do feel like they want to pay you for, um, I don't know, like take you on a date, pay for your meal, um, offer to pay something for you, or maybe that's how they kind of looped you in in the past, was like, yeah, let's go to the movies, I'll pay for everything, um, you know, or pay for... I don't know, some Amazon Prime order, something like that, right? But I think what this person doesn't realize, Pisces, is that with you, it it's not just about what you can gain from this financially or physically. Yeah, it's great to receive from people, but, you know, that old trick can't keep going on and on in this connection of, I don't know, it's like with this person, you never felt like they're sorry's really meant anything either because they just turn around and do the same thing not really work on it or um, it just didn't feel authentic to you so the problem they're having right now and facing you Pisces is that they have to be fully authentic fully real and they just don't know how to do that yet what they like about you is the seven of cups so this is Scorpio energy some of you have Scorpio and your big three, you know, sun, moon, rising, whatever the case is, right? For whatever placement you're watching, it doesn't have to be. You know what I get from this Pisces? You keep them guessing. They never know what they're going to get from you. You keep them interested. You have very many different layers to you emotionally. And that depends on how much you let someone in. Um, you know, I feel that when you first meet people, you definitely have this facade on for you feel out the room and you get the vibes of the room and then you know how to present yourself and it's not fake. 
It's just being very emotionally intelligent and knowing how to present yourself in certain groups and situations. Um, but then, you know, once that gets passed, that gets aside, you are very complex. You are very deep. That's why I keep hearing you're a deep person. Um, you know, you're not surface level at all. And this person finds you intriguing, like the more layers they pull away, how much more to you there is. The conversations they have with you are deep. The romantic experiences, sexual experience they have with you are deep. Nothing is just fleeting with you. And there's something about you, Pisces, you know, it's similar to high priestess energy when I get this, the seven of cups and this placement, but it's like, there's so much about you that they love and enjoy, but then again, there's something too that makes them wonder what it is about Pisces that I just go crazy for, honestly. And that's how they feel with this, with you. Um, I'm seeing someone hook up in a bathroom. <laughs> I don't know if that's your bathroom at your house or like a public bathroom. Uh, I know, I don't know, it's not for everyone or like a friend's house, family member's house. Um, I'm also hearing a concert too that you could have just made out at. It doesn't have to be full on, you know. <laughs> we have to keep this YouTube worthy. Um, but yeah, you're just intriguing Pisces. You're mysterious. And I forget who else had this, um, in their placement, this exact card. It was either Aquarius or Taurus. So, if that may mean something to you as well. But what they don't like about you temperance Sagittarius energy but I also feel Libra energy with this card for me as a reader personally so what I get with temperance Pisces is that again like if this five of wands scenario resonated with you where they try to get a rise out of you you didn't show them your reaction you kept it cool calm and collected because you really realize that was petty. Again, you're not petty, you're not surface. You see through the tricks and the games of other people, whether it's because you went through them yourself before or you're just Pisces and you sense everything. One of the two. So, you know, it's like, they're not seeing you react to you guys not talking for however long it's been, or they're not seeing you give time or energy into watching their social media the way they watch yours or you're not showing them, you know, that side that is upset or hurt or angered by what they did. Some of you because you know that's part of their game, others of you because you realize that there's something about this connection that isn't right with you and that you need to examine a bit, step back from a bit and see what can be mended, and if it can't be, what to do from there. But you're hard to read, Pisces. I feel that with this temperance card. Um, but this person just may be... <sighs> what I feel with this so far is that this person is very emotional, very reactive, very impulsive. And I don't know if they had some sort of experience in their past, childhood, whatever, right, that they needed um, confirmation through extreme emotions or reactions as such and maybe their lesson through being this in with you Pisces is that you know there's no need for all the drama there's no need for all the BS and the co the commotion if I'm with you I'm with you if I'm into you I'm into you and we can get as deep as we can get but the problem and where it ends is when you start to muddy the waters that's where I'm going to separate myself and heal and reevaluate. What they like about this connection is the Nine of Wands, Sagittarius energy again. So, if you have Sagittarius in your chart or if you're dealing with a Sagittarius, I suggest checking out the Sagittarius reading to see if there's messages for you there because it's strong. So, I feel with this Nine of Wands, Pisces, is that even if you guys maybe this has been like not the first time but even if you guys go through these little disputes arguments periods of separation one person eventually gives in puts that wall down but i also feel with this nine of wands too is that again there's someone who's had deep ass conversations 
and I feel that although it may not be emotional, you've always provided an insight or a perspective that helped them see the strength within themselves or what they've been through or what they've gone through. I definitely feel, Pisces, you're an amazing listener. And you're not only there for this person, but for so many people. You're like the type of person where someone's going through a lot of crap right now in their lives. They know they can call Pisces and not just be an emotional dumping ground. No, because you won't allow that. But you just listen non-judgmentally, openly. And then you give that person their strength saying, you know what? Yeah, this sucks, but you can get through it. You got this. Um, I don't know if some of you are like spiritual coaches, life coaches, um, or you have that gift, that healing gift, and you are a healer. And this person recognizes that as well. Um, I'm also getting someone that is into um, physical therapy, whether that's like chiropractor, massage, acupuncture, Reiki healer, that type of thing as well. But I also get Pisces that they see you as a strong person, a strong individual. And you have the strength within you, no matter what you go through. Maybe they know your life story, but you're not the one to dwell in it. You get back up again. What they don't like about the connection three of wands, and this is the waiting. <laughs> the waiting for you to reach out. The waiting for you to come back. Um, and to get that passionate, sensual arise from you. Of like, look, I miss you. I want you to come over right now. Let's, I need to see you. Maybe those are words you've said to them before, but you're not saying to them now. Uh, seeing a lot of emojis. I don't know if you guys would mess with each other and just send messages through emojis all the time. Um, but like a lot. Again, I think through that emoji conversation, it was hard to read, whether that's on your end or their end, which annoyed someone. It's like, just type it out. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, the waiting, the waiting for you to come back, the waiting for their ships to come in, for their manifestation to happen with you, Pisces. The union, the reunion hasn't happened yet. Now, Pisces, this is why they want you back. Highest hopes is the Ten of Pentacles, Virgo energy. You guys had something pretty solid. They saw you as a partner. They saw you as someone who is down, loyal, who could give their all into something, to build something, to grow something. Um, you know, you're someone maybe that they thought of having children with or who this could be a baby mama, baby daddy, and they want to keep the family together. Others of you with this Ten of Pentacles, yeah, it's just... If with anyone, it would be with you to have the Ten of Pentacles with. Um, maybe you guys lived together at one point or lived with the, you know, each other in the same house. Or you talked about that before this all happened. Um, yeah, you know what this Five of Wands, Pisces? If it's not them talking to other people or you talking to other people, it's someone that is jealous of what you two have because it was so strong and solid. And maybe they tried to... Stir the pot a bit if that's for you, whether that's an ex or someone in a third party, family member, friend. But they could see, or actually during this time of separation, they feel that maybe now it is time to do something about the strong partnership you guys have had. And that with anyone, it would be with you to have the Ten of Pentacles with. I'm seeing a denim jacket as well that someone always wears or wore last time you saw them. Or someone's wearing blue right now. Deepest fears, king of swords, Aquarius energy. Yeah, you know what I feel with this Pisces is that with them, you're not gonna open that side, that sensitive, complex side to you again. That with them, you're gonna keep a distance. With them, you see it now, nothing's going to change your mind. And that communication will be little, if at all, that, you know, especially if you do have kids with them or going through a divorce or a separation with them, it's like, 
all right, let's talk business. How do you want to split time? How do you want to split assets? What do you want to do from this moving forward? And even some of them already get that sense from you if you had to talk about those certain topics. Um, but yeah, their fear is that they can't see that beautiful Pisces, sensitive, you know, I'm hearing it's a beautiful mind. I don't know if you guys have seen that movie, um, but you really, they love you for your mind. It's just so unlike anyone they've met as far as how you think, how you think outside the box and all the different perspectives you've given to them and that they're not going to tap into that again. You would protect yourself. Anyway, Pisces, we're going to go ahead and take this to the extended reading where we're going to see the likely outcome of the situation, what's likely to happen, unfold, and just dive deeper into this to see what else you need to know about this connection specifically for your greater clarity. But before we go, I will pull a card from the Romance Angels deck by Doreen Virtue. I'm going to see if there's anything else you need to know about this connection, anything else the spirit wants you to know about this, or what this person thinks of you that they haven't revealed. Yeah, free yourself. Interesting. So, yeah, I have different messages for different groups of you, and this has been the card, okay? Um, I believe Scorpio had this, and maybe Taurus had this as well. But um, for someone here, like, I think because they do know the seriousness of how much you're separating from this, or they're trying to move on or maybe they thought that that would be the best case but still it always rounds back to you Pisces and again I think they're also going through this inner turmoil of battling their pride and their ego and trying to reach out in the way that they know you deserve to be heard or deserve to um, be addressed in any way but maybe this is a message for you Pisces that you know as much as you guys have been through in this is it enough to keep you going and moving in this um but i also feel for a lot of you which i didn't get with the other signs is they see that you're freeing yourself and it's scaring them bottom of the deck it is safe for you to love open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all yeah i think this is what they really want to tell you deep deep down is that they want you to know or want to communicate to you that they they want you back they want you to open up their sorry they've learned and that they want you to accept them back but pisces this is ultimately your decision depending on your situation you know what's best for you and if they had their chance they had their chance and there's a certain necklace someone always always wears um, you know, hardly ever takes it off. It's a symbol that it just means a lot to them. I don't know who that's for. But they, yeah, I think they do want you to be the one to reach out, but I know you're not going to. <laughs> I can see that from here. All right, Pisces, we're going to go ahead and take this to the extended reading where we're going to see the likely outcome, what they're likely to do, what's likely to happen in this connection. But more importantly, what do you need to know about this person, about this situation, why they were placed in your lives, and dive deeper into this. So if you'd like to join me for the extended reading, open up the description box and you'll find the link to Vimeo, which will take you to the extended reading. I'm also going to use these oracle cards to dive deeper into this in case you're interested. But if this is where you depart, Pisces, I really hope that this has given you clarity and insight in regards to what's happening in your love life. If it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. Want to win a free customized gift box from me? I'm doing this new giveaway where I'm selecting one lucky subscriber every month to win a customized gift box I put together for that winner personally as a way to give back because you guys are so amazing. There's something I have to do. So I'm selecting a winner to receive a box full of goodies that contain tarot card I pull for that person, an oracle card, a handwritten note from me to that person of what I feel through the energies of those cards and a bunch of other great stuff. So if you're interested in seeing what's in this box or how you can enter your chance to win, open up the description box, scroll down a little bit, and you'll find the rules of entry there in case you're interested. I love you Pisces very much 
and I'll see you next time. Take care, Pisces.